Hi, Ryan from DecksbyE3.com. If you've read my blog, and which you should, we talk about all things deck and deck, and in particular composite deck. And so you probably know I am a huge fan of composite deck. And but today we start working on replacing a composite deck. And that's because of the type of deck that was used and why I think the newer products are much better than what we were installed 20 or 30 years ago. So let's just kind of talk through this deck and look at a few things where they could have done better and which they are doing better now. First of all, without a cap, you have no material protecting the composite deck. So you look really close here, you actually see it starting to flake and break and come apart. Just a little aside, if you swing around over here, just, this is hollow decking, and that's fine. There's many composite decking's that are designed that way and that they have their advantages, but you really need to have a way of finishing this off. It just doesn't look very nice. Speaking of things that don't look very nice, butt joints. Nobody likes a butt, and I don't like a butt on a deck. <laughs> your deck is bigger than your boards. You need to put a transition here for you don't have to have butt joints, because as you see, your butt joints always open up and they're ugly. And as here, we don't even have consistent size of butt joints. But that is only one thing that's happening with this deck. If we come over here, one of the earlier generations of composite, since they were not protected by that polymer cap, is we had mold and mildew. They can actually grow on the decking. Like, yes, you can clean that off. But really, you bought a composite deck to not have maintenance. You don't really want to be dealing with this. And this is actually getting pretty bad here because it's not protected with a polymer cap. Another thing that polymer cap does is it makes it more durable. Like, first of all, warning, just like Tud says, the ultimate deck strop, all deck and scratches. But here, you notice there's some very significant scratching that's happening here, making this deck not look nearly as nice as it used to. Another thing about it is, traction. A lot of the earlier generations of composite didn't have very good traction. You see here, this deck is wet. I can just slide my feet back and forth here. Little warning now, not all composite decking has the same level of traction. You can actually Google that and I have a really good article in regards to different traction of different composite decking. Decorators with their mineral-based composite is one of the best, but is not the best. But there, the newer types of composite deck can have much better traction, which prevents you slipping when you're on your deck. So then you can enjoy your deck even in these rainy, cloudy days, which we're enjoying right now. So give her a like if you like. See you on the next video.